Can I have an ice cream as well as apple juice? You said ice cream and apple juice? Yep. Anything else? Uh, no, it's gonna be it. Next one though, thank you. So today's video sponsor is not McDonald's because I think the person in the line thought I was an actual kid and gave me a box of apple juice. The ice cream was good, but I was expecting like a medium sized cup, but this'll do. No added sugar. Let me finish up this ice cream real quick. We have a new generation of chips and with a new generation, cheers. This is actually water. This juice box might be predicting how the M2 MacBook Air is supposed to be because this was disgusting. I'm gonna go get some actual apple juice that's bad for me. I'll be right back. I only picked this because it has apple on the front, as you can see. Got some Capri Sun. That's good, but I also bought the good stuff. Kool-Aid. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, so this video is unofficially sponsored by Kool-Aid. Link down in the description below. But let's get started with probably one of the most highly anticipated laptops on this channel. It is the MacBook Air redesigned with M2, which Apple is saying is supercharged. Let's get into the unboxing experience because I can no longer wait. All right, let's give credit where credit is due. And as you guys can see, this is assembled in China, made in California. I'm so dumb, man. Designed in California, made in China. So shout out to China for making our products. All right, let's get into this. Uh, one thing I will say though, I'm not really a fan of how the front of the packaging looks. I don't know why it's like off to the side. It should just actually show the screen itself. And I know in terms of my unboxing experience, it seems like I'm really picky about the packaging and design and less so more about the product, but that's just how I view things when I unbox stuff. So anyway, let's rip this open. Lift it up. This is the midnight color. So it is something that I am really excited to see what it looks like in person. Also compared to the other air models, this one feels like it has more weight to it. But going around the rest of the box, or I should say the rest of the contents in the... So as I was saying, going around the rest of the stuff in the box, this is our new MagSafe cable that yes, we do get with the MacBook Air now, and it is color-coded depending on the color that you get for your MacBook Air. So that is nice to see. We also get some packaging, <laughs> packaging, paperwork. I mean the stickers, man. That's the only thing people care about nowadays. It's like in here. Um, so we also get matching colors for the Apple stickers, which is nice. Um, I'm not sure. I bought three of the MacBook Airs. Um, so this is not the one that comes with the extra power adapter, or I should say the port as well. This one is just a, let's see here, it's a 30 watt power adapter. Let me take this plastic off. Or I should say paper, because I believe it's paper. So this is the 30 watt power adapter. And let me see where this is made. It's made in China. I know a lot of the power adapters now are being made in India, but we still got China all over this box. What does this smell like? It smells like pavement. All right, uh, let's look at the actual product itself. This Midnight definitely looks like a, it's a deep abyss blue, guys. That is what I'm calling this color. This is not Midnight. It's like deep abyss blue. Although Apple's never gonna name it that, but that looks like deep abyss blue. Um, I will say the Apple logo looks to be enlarged a bit. And the bottom definitely reminds me of the 14 to 15 inch with the bottom, uh, I don't know what these things are called, 
Um, also, it's interesting to see that we only have four screws, so it's going to be pretty easy to open this thing. At least that's what it looks like on the surface. Um, but let's look around the side and look at the ports that we get. So we have a single headphone jack on the right hand side. And then moving to the left hand side, we still have our two Thunderbolt 4 ports with MagSafe. So a uh, little disappointed that we don't have Thunderbolt on each side, but at least we have two still. This is actually a pretty thin and light device, although it does not have the same thinness as the last year's MacBook Air. Um, but let's go ahead and get this thing opened up because the display is new this year. Yep, there's a smell. What does that smell like? I need more Kool-Aid. You know what it smells like? This smells like a sneaker store. Actually, I don't wanna say sneaker. It just smells like an athletic store. Like it just smells very, It just smells good. <laughs> Finally, dude, after so many years of unboxing Apple products. It smells like is the main language. Press the return key. Anyway, I was also going to say the metal. It also smells like it's fresh off the press, man. Finally, Apple, after all these years of begging, but this is what the display looks like now. So unlike last year's edition, let me go ahead and open this up and make sure that there is uh, no crazy stuff here. Um, so as you can see here, I don't know if you guys can actually see this, but uh, last year's model, it definitely has that older design to it where it's basically a box. But now we have this notch here and it's also been expanded a bit. So this is technically a 13.6 inch screen and this is 13.3. So. We do get an upgrade here on the new M2 MacBook Air. Now, let's go ahead and get this thing set up. Should I do the usual where I just go through some languages? Slovencia. I'm guessing that's Slovakian. We're gonna go with English and get the rest of this thing set up here. So, once we are set up with the laptop, we can do our regular laptop unboxing first impressions. This is probably why our country has a high percentage of obesity. God, this is good. This is crack. Apple, I have to admit, this color is nice. I hate that the name is Midnight because I know you're trying to go with this whole space theme, but this is definitely one of my favorite colors. I don't care what anyone says about the fingerprints. It's going to happen on any laptop with this kind of darker material attached to it. Don't use my location, please. I am in Cupertino, of course, because I work at Apple. All right, so this doesn't have the pro motion of the newer 14 or 16 inch laptops, but I will say with the pushed out bezels and this notch here, it definitely gives it a more <laughs> modern look to it just because it's a little bit more of what the 14 and 16 inch are doing. But I will say, it's a nice looking screen. Let me go ahead and see what the full resolution is. So the resolution is it's showing that it's a 14 inch, which is very interesting. So uh, don't believe them. It's 13.6, I believe, or maybe this is 14, who knows? But regardless, it's 2560 by 1664. First thing I'm doing is walking around a country. Bro, listen, I'm not gonna lie, but is this really the YouTube homepage when you don't sign in? Rich versus poor versus giga rich. I spent 100 days in Grand Theft Auto. And then of course, Sniper Wolf was there reacting to TikTok, doing pretty much nothing. And then we get like, what is the YouTube homepage for people who don't sign in? Cause this is a disappointment. Columbia, duh. Of course we're going here. Speakers are nice. They are 
MacBook speakers. Are we ever gonna be disappointed with MacBook speakers? I think not. I can say just hearing this alone from the waves that were crashing to the shore, compared to last generation, these speakers are definitely better. Substantially better? No. But are they better? Yes. All right, uh, you already know where I'm going next with this typing test, baby. There is something about the key travel and the per it's like the perfect spacing between the keys as well that just make the Magic Keyboard magic. I hate to use Apple's marketing, but it, it really just feels like a very solid keyboard. Um, I might do a completely separate side-by-side um, -side comparison to the old MacBook Air, but some of the changes that you can see right off the bat, I'll do it very briefly here, is that the function row is full length now, so it's not this small half that we have at the top. It definitely looks more premium because we have this Touch ID which is similar to what we have on the 14 and 16 inch as well, and the full size keyboard for the iMacs and stuff like that. Um, so I would say it's probably more legible to see the actual, um, I guess, media keys or the function keys here on the top row. But all in all, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a difference. When it comes to the trackpad size, it looks, I mean, yeah, it's, it's definitely bigger. So that's nice that we are getting a bigger trackpad because it's just the overall design that we're getting from the newer generation MacBook Air. So it's sad to see this older design go away because it is something that I've loved for many years since its inception, but it's time we move on to bigger and better things. And I think overall, now that I have this laptop in hand, the design is growing on me. All right, so occasionally what I would do on an unboxing is actually open up the laptop. So I'm going to unscrew the bottom of the MacBook Air and see what's on the inside and also see if it's any sort of difficulty opening up this laptop because four screws seems a little too easy from Apple. All right, uh, knowing Apple, I'm probably gonna need this. And uh, what screw is this? this is gonna be a TR4. Five, potentially. Get this bad boy or girl or whatever you identify with open. And that's way too big. T4, seriously? Wait, what? It doesn't fit. Oh my God, I'm dumb. It's a P. It's a P5. I'm so dumb. That's how you can tell I haven't opened up a MacBook in a while. Please, Apple, make this easy. Holy smokes, that's my skin that just came off there. Definitely gonna need this. All right, now with the MacBook Air, I'm not sure if I pull down like the other MacBooks where I push it towards myself. Yep, there we go. All right, so <laughs> it's actually that easy. Four screws, Apple, I like it. Um, wow, simple. Very, very simple. So this is obviously the haptic engine. We have batteries. This is the battery. I don't know where the SSD would be. It would have to be somewhere down here. Somewhere, it's, over, it's either over here, or somewhere over here. I just know it's up in this region here. But obviously this is the battery. Yeah, that's it. I don't know. It's pretty simple. It's Apple, it's boring. It's cool in terms of everything that they fit in here and how neat it is, but at the same time, it's kind of boring. So let's go ahead and uh, get this back on. Oh God, I hate putting back together MacBooks. Oh, why do they make this so difficult? Bro, I'm gonna slice my thumb. Do you see how much pressure I'm putting on this thing? Ugh. All right, there has to be some, some kind of trick to this because it cannot be this hard. All right, guys, so this is the unboxing and first impressions of the new M2 MacBook Air. Of course, I can do benchmark scores and go crazy over the numbers that I see, but from Apple's presentation, it doesn't seem like it's any sort of major increase in performance. Um, there is improvement, but it's not anything that's really massive. I think what's going to be 
really cool is going to be M2 Pro, M2 Max, if that stuff comes out later in the year or next year. But most importantly, I really just want to see if this is worth the upgrade from my M1 MacBook Air that I've been using for a year and a half now. Um, shameless plug, D brand leather skin, but I just really love this older design and honestly, I just like my money being well spent and I don't think buying a new laptop every two years is very value focused or it's just not good, right? Stick with what you have as long as you can. But I do wanna make comparison videos in the upcoming weeks. Um, I also do wanna talk about the storage because I at least the most popular video on my channel is when I talked about the M1 uh, SSD and I think the uh, memory thing that was going on. And I just wanna give my own perspective of it because maybe something is really wrong with the lower end um, SSD modules that Apple's using. But we don't really, or at least I don't know until I test it myself and come to my own conclusion. So with that being said, guys, um, I'm gonna keep on drinking this fruit punch Kool-Aid of Apple because man, this is so artificial, by the way. Um, <laughs> let's wrap up this unboxing. So all in all, first impressions from the design standpoint compared to last year's model, it's growing on me. Is it my favorite? We're gonna have to see what it is using it day to day. Uh, but in terms of the display, I love it. I don't really care that there's no ProMotion. I think in terms of the refresh rate and just how macOS moves and feels, it's already pretty snappy. Um, also, I've, all, I've already used the 14 and 16 inch before, so the notch really doesn't bother me. Um, I know it might bother some people, but the thing is, if you full screen your application, the notch pretty much just goes away, and then you can just you know use your macOS gestures as you should. So notch really doesn't bother me that much. I actually like how things are pushed out a little bit more. Um, the brightness has increased. The speakers sound great. Um, MagSafe is back as well. And you can definitely tell how thin this laptop is because the ports are basically the height of the laptop itself. So you did good, Apple. Trackpad's bigger. I mean, what negative is here compared to last generation? We have to find out. So with all that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing experience of the M2 MacBook Air. Since Starlight Color is coming as well as another special configuration, none of it is coming from Apple, but mm, can't wait to get them in. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Much love. Mm. 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 Mmm. Mmm. Ah, my God. That Kool-Aid is something else, man. Ah, oh, I feel so sick. <laughs>